We have been toying around with this one project. There's no real rhyme or reason for it, just so that I could show you some of the techniques. Why don't we start over with a fresh project and let's start building something a little bit more meaningful. Let me go ahead and show you how to create some authentication. This is something that Laravel makes so easy. So let's start with a fresh project. We do have the Laravel installer. If you didn't follow that episode, make sure that you follow that before this command will work. But in your terminal, you should be able to run Laravel and you should get the latest version of the Laravel installer. So let's say Laravel new and let's just call it sample project. We'll let that craft the application and I'll see you on the other side. When we start building modern applications, having users, allowing them to sign in, forgetting their password sequence, all of that is essential. Building that from scratch doesn't make a ton of sense. That's why we use a framework like Laravel. Let me CD into our new sample project. And in here, I need to bring that in as a package. If you've ever followed any tutorial on Laravel authentication, it may say to do something like PHP artisan make auth. That is no longer available. Notice we get a list of other things that you can do, but that is no longer an option. And what it is, is that it got extracted into a separate package. It is still maintained by the core developers of Laravel, so you don't have to worry. It's still a first party package. To bring it in, we'll say composer require Laravel slash UI. Now UI, the name itself, I do understand it's a little bit confusing, but it just means it's the authentication and front end all in one package. We'll let that install and then we'll be right back. And it's installed. Now, one thing that may not be super clear just yet is what is this idea of packages? We're not quite ready to dive into what it actually is 100%. But just keep in mind that it is just a way for us to add additional functionality that doesn't ship with Laravel. Imagine that Laravel came with every single possible thing that any user could potentially need. Well, in that case, Laravel would be huge. It doesn't make a ton of sense. So Laravel ships with what most people are going to need. Then the extra 5%, that's gonna be custom for your application and you bring those in as packages. That's all we need to know right now. Most modern Laravel packages, they do something called auto discovery. And we take a look right here, discovered package. So it basically found itself and it said, hey, I need to hook into this Laravel application. And it does just that. We will in the future dive deeper. And I even have a full entire course on how to create your own packages. But for now, don't worry about that. All we need to know is that now we have this UI and we finally have authentication. But what it gives you is a separate command. If we run PHP Artisan, there's this new UI section right here, and it's called UI Auth. This used to be the Make Auth. And again, it scaffolds a basic login and registration with views and routes. Let's run that now. PHP Artisan UI Auth. And that's it. Let me go ahead and pop this open in my code editor. All right, I'll close that up. And let me go ahead and also run the serve and see that in the browser. PHP Artisan Serve. All right, and let me bump in here. I'll close our previous project and we are good to go. The difference now is notice up here, we have login and we have register. But immediately we run into a bit of a problem. Notice that there is absolutely no styling in there for us at all. So in the next episode, let's talk about how to bring that back. We're not quite ready for that just yet. But if we wanted to go ahead and register a user, all we would need to do is set up a database for them. Let me go into SQL Pro. I already have this set up. Let me go into my local host and then let me add a new database here. We'll just call it sample. Okay. So now in my PHP storm .env file, I'm going to be using my SQL and it's called sample and everything else remains the same. The settings for this might be slightly different for your exact application. Check out the episodes on how we set up a database to get started with a sample database. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna have to stop this process. Let's serve it up again. And now in a new tab, let me go ahead and go into the same project, sample projects, and let's run PHP artisan migrate. And if you ran everything correctly, you should have your new users table and everything else. So now we can register a brand new user. We'll say test, maybe test at test.com. I'll just come up with a password here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Register. And there we go. 
we have a user. So we are now logged in. I can log out. And furthermore, I can actually even do forgot your password sequence, which is pretty cool. So here I would put my email, then password reset link. Obviously it fails because I don't have any emails set up. So it's actually trying to reach out and it can't do it. That's okay. We know that it works and it's good to go. If I need to log in, test.test.com, let me put my password. I can do remember me and everything else, just like that. Pretty cool, right? So it's very easy to do this in Laravel. So just as one last thing, if we check out our database now, we go to the users table, there it is. My password is already in hash, got a remember token, everything is done for us. We don't have to worry about that. So like I said, in the next episode, let's shift our focus and let's try to get some of this front end looking a little bit better. And it might be a lot easier than you think.